Welcome to Infinity, the ultra-flexible work management software where you can organize any type of data any way you like. We know that every person and every team functions differently. That's why Infinity adapts to your needs. In Infinity, you are the architect of your work organization, and you're building a system that perfectly fits your needs. In this video, we're going to cover Infinity's key elements and features so you can get started in no time. First, let's go over the basic building blocks of Infinity. The biggest Infinity unit is a workspace, and inside one workspace, your work is arranged into boards. So for example, a workspace can be a company or a brand, and the boards inside can be the different departments in your company, like marketing, sales, business development, and so on. When inviting your team members, you can invite them to the whole workspace or just specific boards. Let's create a new board. We need the HR department, so let's set it up. We'll create a new board by clicking this button right here. In Infinity, there are three ways you can set up your board. You can start from scratch, use a template, or import a board from Trello. This time, we're gonna start with a template. Now we need to name our new board. We can add a short description, and let's choose a new color. We're gonna keep this board private because we don't want the whole team to see this data. We're only gonna invite a few team members and let's click continue. We already have our other departments and now we need to set up our HR department. So we're gonna choose this HR template. Here we are. This is a board in Infinity. It's divided into three sections. On the left, you'll be able to see the folder tree. In the center, you'll be able to view and edit your items and at the top, you'll see the customization options. Inside the board, you can classify your work further into folders and subfolders, which can contain different types of data. For example, here we have two folders, one with an employee database and one where we're tracking employees' days off. The basic unit of Infinity is an item, and it can be anything, a task, an idea, a database record, a lead, a note, or whatever else you need to organize. In this case, one item would be one employee in our database together with all the information related to them. And you can expand an item to view or edit the details. You'll be able to add labels, attachments, dates, text, and many others like checkboxes, checklists, links, etc. Here we can also easily edit our columns. Add new ones. And rearrange them. Now that you know the basics, let's create another folder for tasks. When creating a new folder, you can immediately choose among four different views. A list, columns, calendar, and table. You can also load a template or you can import data from Trello or a CSV file. Let's choose a table so we can quickly jot down our tasks for this department. We'll add tasks by typing directly into the items and hitting enter. Now let's add some attributes to our tasks. First, we'll need an assignee to determine who's responsible for each task. Then we'll add a description to note down some details about this task. Let's also add a start date and an end date. We can reuse those from the days off folder. We'll also need a status label so we can track our progress on these tasks. Finally, let's add a checklist where we will list our subtasks and an attachment to store files. The attributes we've added are applied to the whole folder and you can later reuse them on other folders. Okay, let's add these details to our tasks. Great, now we have our tasks. Another cool thing about Infinity are the tabs. Tabs, in combination with customization options here, will allow you to see specific data from a folder or view your data differently. So let's see what we can do with them. We'll create a new tab where we'll choose a different view. In Infinity, you can choose among four views, list, columns, calendar, and table. Let's choose columns and group them by status so we can track our progress. We can easily move our tasks around as we work on them. In the next tab, I want to filter out only my tasks. Let's 
Let's create one list and sort our tasks by priority so we know what needs to be done first. And let's customize our list to see only what we need to see. With Customize, you can hide or show certain attributes without actually removing them from the items. So let's hide, for example, dates. Now we have a neat, clean looking list, but we can still access those hidden attributes if we expand our item. And we need one tab which will serve as a calendar, so we can quickly scan our deadlines. If we wish to change the dates, we can move our items directly in the calendar. Now that we have our tabs, we can quickly switch between them whenever we need to see our data differently. Infinity was designed to make collaboration more effective, so let's see how you can get your team on board. You can invite team members directly from the board, where you can choose to invite them to the whole team or to this board only. You can assign tasks to one or multiple people, and you can communicate in the context of your tasks. For this, you will use comments. You can mention your colleagues in the comments, and they will immediately receive a notification. While we're at it, you can check out your notifications right here, and they are completely customizable. Each user can choose to turn off all notifications or just some of them, and you can choose to delay notifications or disable them at certain times of day. Finally, you can use the activity log to track any changes that happen on your board or on any specific item. To see some other cool things you can do with your folders, just click this ellipses right here, and you'll be able to open folder settings and do things like duplicate your folder or export your data to a CSV file. If you want to switch to another board, you can do it by clicking this button. Here you will see all your workspaces and boards, so you can choose where you want to go next. And if you want to go back to your dashboard, just click My Dashboard or the Infinity logo at the top. In the dashboard, you can create a new workspace, create a new board, and you can access some other board options if you click here. You can rename your board, export it, change its color, duplicate it, and move it to a different workspace. You can also rearrange your boards easily by drag and drop. Okay, those were Infinity Basics. If you need additional help, you can check out our Help Center or write to our support. We'll be happy to help. Infinity, create a workflow tailored to your needs.